So in the ever ongoing Unreal vs uh, Unity war, and let's be real, both engines are amazing and both have pros and cons, and just like the ongoing console war, this is all kind of pointless, this comparison. And you always seem to get the Unity naysayers, the ones who say that Unity is just for indie shovelware, it's just for like rubbish games. And they just generally dismiss Unity as a lesser engine. And as this commenter on my why I switched to Unity over Unreal video eloquently put, also in the series, why I switched from my supermodel girlfriend to a Rottweiler with lipstick on. And that just shows the kind of general perception of Unity as an engine. So I thought I'd add some positivity to the Unity kind of sphere of conversation online. And I thought I'd cover my top Unity games that are coming out kind of either in the future or currently out in early access. And sure, they are indie games, but there's nothing wrong with that. So let's just jump straight into these top five Unity games that I'm excited about. Okay, so the first one on the list is Farewell North by Kyle Banks. This has been a project I've been following for quite a while now since discovering the devlogs here on YouTube. The game sees you journeying into an open world where you play as a border collie traveling with his owner while you try to restore colour to the desolate islands of Farewell North. What really struck me with this one is the unique art style and the pushing colour ability that the player has to bring colour back to parts of the world. I specifically like the way that this isn't just a combat mechanic and actually ties into puzzle solving and that got me really excited. I always love it in games where there is a hidden world almost. Think Metro Prime 2 Echoes, that was great for this and even Dishonored had a great uh, alternate reality ability too. I'll have a link below to Kyle's YouTube channel if you want to check out his devlogs. Uh, there's some really great stuff there and I think it really helps helps like show off exactly why this is such an exciting project. The next game on the list is Adapt. Now, quick disclaimer, I work for the publisher who's helping with the marketing for this game. But I first saw this game on Twitter and Itch. So Adapt is an evolutionary sandbox survival game in which you must guide your species through a constantly changing world uh, where you compete with strange creatures for food and territory before finding your niche in the world. Paul, the developer, is putting his all into this project and there's even a free demo on the Steam page which you can play right now. As with Farewell North, the art style is what drew me to this project. The kind of dreamy, Ghibli-esque visuals really help capture the imagination and also look at how cute the game's mascot Red is, even if he does look a little bit like Nigel Thornberry. Some people say Red looks like Nigel Thornberry, but I can't see it, oh my god. <laughs> Smashing, Jape. Terribly clever. But again, if you want to see kind of what it's about at this very early stage, again, there is a demo available on Steam. Next in the list is Hollow Knight Silk Song. Now, I think this is on every one of these list videos, and everyone is, they think it's coming out and it hasn't, so I'm now adding to that. But this is definitely one of the most high profile, most anticipated Unity games to date. Silk Song is the sequel to the critically acclaimed Hollow Knight, and then in this game you play as Hornet, the princess protector of Hollow Nest. The first Hollow Knight was a fantastic blend between the Metroidvania genre and the Souls games. It's got platforming, exciting combat mechanics, and lots of corpse running, obviously to go back to your body and grab your souls. And this all tied in with a fantastic art style which made for an amazing game. The sequel is looking bigger and better and really shows off the power of Unity as a 2D engine, and this is an area where Unity just smashes Unreal. Like if you wanna make a 2D kind of platforming game, Unity or Godot or an in-house developed engine is going to be much better for you than Unreal. Like Unreal, is, they've set their path and that is 3D, high quality assets. Um, 2D is kind of not a thing that you would do in Unreal Engine. The fourth game on this list is a Hard Space Shipbreaker and this one's actually out in early access if you do want to grab it. Equipped with cutting edge salvaging tech. Ooh, that's hard to say. Equipped with cutting edge salvaging tech, you take on the role as a shipbreaker who is tasked with cutting and carving up ships to pay back your billion credit debt to the Lynx Corporation. Hard Space is quite an interesting one because uh, even though it's got this like low poly kind of painterly aesthetic, it does actually use Unity's high definition render pipeline. And this lets the team really push those visuals. And this also allows you to utilize the full power and potential of VFX graph because um, some things are kind of locked off in the universal render pipeline in VFX graph. And excitingly, they've even adopted adopted Unity Dots, which is the data oriented technology stack. And this allows them to generate an endless supply of ships to break. They're all generated, textures, populated, and everything at runtime, which is really cool. That's something Dots lets you do blazingly fast instead of the old way, which would have been very slow. It's currently in early access and it's just received a massive content, like story content update, like act two of the game is now out. So there's never been a better time to jump into hard space shipbreaker. Shipbreaker, ship. Per ship breaker. And last but certainly not least is Timberborn. Set in a world where humans are long gone and lumberpunk beavers, that is a great phrase, 
have risen to the top of the world order. Timberborn is a city building game featuring ingenious animals, vertical architecture, river control and deadly droughts. There are two factions to choose from, there's the nature friendly folk tales and the industrious iron teeth, with each offering a different playstyle. I've seen a lot of city builders released recently and a lot of them have been coming out with like a fantasy slash medieval element. So what I like about Timberborn is sure it's a city builder with similar genre mechanics, but the fun twist on the genre, where it's set in a future of beaver domination, a phrase I never thought I would say, is going to allow for some interesting diversions to what you would expect to find normally in this type of game. And also, the beavers are adorable, just look at them. So there you have it, they're the top five Unity games I thought I would tell you about. Some are at an early access, some are releasing soon, some are kind of long off in the future, but it just shows the kind of variety of stuff that you can achieve in the Unity engine. Just noticed my collar was tucked in, but I'm not going to re-record the video for such a small thing. I'm sorry. But which of these games are you excited to see? Let me know in the comments below. Links to all of the games are in the description below as well. Make sure you go check them out and show them some love, especially Adapt. If you'd like to get into Unity games development and become a Unity dev yourself, I've got some affiliate links in the description below to Udemy courses. Now, even though they're paid, these are great structured courses that'll take you to kind of like never having even downloaded Unity to making full-fledged games by the end of it. I would highly recommend them. That's kind of how I got started into my journey into games development, a journey which I'm still very much at the beginning of, but it's just an exciting future and it's those courses that help me kind of get inspired to do this. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ooh. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.